What's up, YouTube? Hey, we're starting to remove the ceilings today. Uh, it's Friday, so everybody just got off work. And I figured I'd come out here and hang out on the bus for a little bit. So here's what I've got done so far. I got some panels that are kind of ready to come out. They've got a, I've just got a few screws that um, won't come loose. Uh, one cool thing, I don't, I've never seen this on a bus build, but I got this insulation in here that's like, it's just like foam padding. It's uh, kind of strange looking. It's not like real, uh, it's, it's almost like cotton sh uh, sheets and no fiberglass or anything. So looks to be in pretty good shape, but uh, I'm gonna take all the screws out I can for right now. And then I'll go back and drill uh, stubborn screws and then uh, we'll start pulling the ceiling out. All right, guys, it's hot. I'm tired. I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six rows almost completely out. 70 screws in each row. So, a lot of screwing. Well, I tell you, that's a lot of doggone screwing right there. And then you got your shoulders. It's no wonder all these people you see were, were doing buses, doing these conversions, these young people, they all got muscular shoulders. And when they start out, they're like super skinny. And then at the end, you see them all jacked. That's why right there. Cause you got to take all these screws out of the ceiling. You got to hold a drill above your head. We're going to work on these shoulders right here. We're going to work on them shoulders. All right, peace out. to get one down to kind of see what it looks like underneath here and honestly we're both like pretty um, pleased with the condition of the ceiling I mean it looks fantastic for the bus to be over 20 years old it's in really good shape we've been very pleased so far we're happy with that. It's all dry. There is nothing rusted up here. No mold or anything. It's it's pretty nice. We're, we're, we're very glad. Very thankful. Alright guys. So the ceiling is out. Next comes the windows and the walls. Oh, you feel this, girl. Good afternoon, guys. 
what's up. So today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be removing this last little trim piece, okay? And then we're gonna start on these walls that I've already unscrewed all the way down. We're starting to pull the windows out. So what's gonna have to happen is we gotta get the walls cut uh, before we're able to, we can pull the windows out, but the walls have to be cut anyway. So it doesn't matter whether I cut them with where the windows are in or out, where they gotta come out. So what's gonna happen is my beautiful uh, Stephanie here is going to be out here and she's gonna be scraping on the windows while I'm pulling um, each of these walls out. Now, let me tell you a little something that y'all don't know. And that's I got this pretty little piece of a power tool here. Um, finally got me a grinder. I know in the last video I told y'all I didn't have one, but now I do. I can't believe I didn't spend the 40 bucks <laughs> to begin with to make my life easier on some of this stuff. But got me some grinding wheels, got me a grinder, got me some cutoff wheels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get to it and take a time lapse and then we'll um, we'll kind of show you the progress. So our goal today is to get one complete side of the windows out, to get all of the walls um, trimmed off, and then to at least get four windows cleaned, prepped, painted, so that they can go back in tomorrow. All right, so we'll be back with you in just a little bit. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure, uh-oh mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not It feels just like I'm lying to you I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life I know I'm wasting time Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright Start a conversation with someone Just be who I am, I care so much about first impressions Cause I got a feeling that it could be great Skip all the acts, not playing games Maybe rip in a day with me and tell you my name Yeah, I got a feeling that it could be great Skip all the acts, not playing games no. Get the heck out of here But we got a nice, fresh, clean place to build our box. It'll start here. We'll come out and we'll have two recessed, recessed uh, cabinets in there. Possibly an AC unit. Not really sure, but we'll see. And then we got the walls on this side out. Steve went ahead on both sides and cut them flush. Because he said it was irritating them. So they're cut flush. And then we got the front out. So we can go ahead and build our front cabinet. I need to get in here with a vacuum cleaner, boy. Woo, there's boogers and...
screw, old screwdrivers, old light bulbs. Look at that. Old broken light bulbs. But we'll do the same thing here. We'll. We'll go in and uh, build a big old box right here. A couple of little storage cubbies or one big storage cubby right here. This is a uh, window removal day, right? We got all one side out. Got all the insulation out except for one little square. We've got the windows stored here and we're, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do one side at a time so we don't have just bukus of rain pouring in all, the, all over the place uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get the windows cleaned up and painted while we're doing that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this side of the bus also probably we'll see how that turns out um, we got some tropical coming. So excited about uh, putting that on the roof. And we'll do, of course, videos on that and, uh, and, and the temperature difference and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I just got her all cleaned out again. And kind of one reason why we went ahead and painted the floors with the primer and then enameled them. Uh, is so that we didn't have a bunch of pieces of metal rusting, you know, uh, inside any latex paint that we had. So we went ahead and put that oil-based enamel on it. That way, you know, uh, the metal doesn't really stick in the end of the paint and rust. Um, anytime I get through doing any kind of metal working in here, I go ahead and scrub it down, wash it out real good, make sure there's no metal shavings in. Plus it's just a, a happier day the next day when I come in and everything's clean and organized and neat. Uh, I like it that way. It's easier for me to work because let me tell you, I don't know what I'm doing half the time and I have to kind of wing it. So trying to find tools, trying to work in a dirty environment, it doesn't work for me because I it just makes it 10 times worse. So anyway, so that's, that's what we got so far. You guys stay tuned. Hi, beautiful people of YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well tonight. So this video was just a, uh, I'm just going to recap the video real quick. Um, it was uh, ceiling and walls. Um, we, uh, we were able to, to get all of 1,000 screws out of the walls and uh, get the ceiling out and get all the insulation, of course, out of there. And then we were able to get the walls out and we were able to get the windows out of one complete side. Um, uh, so that took us about two weeks. Um, Steffi and I both work full-time jobs. So it was, uh, it, was, it was a tired, gruesome, you know, tiring process. Uh, with that said, you know, Steffi and I were talking last night and uh, I was telling her, reminding her of a, uh, of a quote I saw or, or a, a little excerpt of a movie or a, a book. I'm not sure where I you know, got it from, but um, it basically went like this. So you can go from the east coast of the United States or wherever you live to the west coast of um, the United States or wherever you live. Uh, just in a deep fog and your headlights only seeing 10 feet in front of you. And as long as you trust that that 10 feet that you're seeing is going to get you there, you'll eventually make it to the west coast 10 feet at a time. So small incremental steps is what we're, we're trying to focus on. Um, you know, whenever you uh, start to pull seats out of a bus, you go, oh my gosh, what a daunting task. When you try to pull the floor up, you're like, my lord, that's going to take forever. When, you, uh, when you're painting, when you're, you know, and, and we, we've just started this project. So we're just 
uh, it's easy to become overwhelmed. Um, and for those of you guys that are wanting to start a, a schoolie or start building out a schoolie, just remember, as long as you focus on the next 10 feet, the next 10 feet, the next 10 feet, you'll, you'll be fine. Um, that's what we've had to do. Uh, because if you think about the whole, the job as a whole, going into it, it can become, uh, like I said, it can become overwhelming. Um, but yeah, we're focusing on the next 10 feet on every project we, we're doing. And then you look back in a very short time later and you've got a ton accomplished. And so we're so grateful to be sharing this uh, journey of ours with you guys. And uh, we, uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, we're going to try to start doing a recap at the end of each episode instead of just turning the video off abruptly. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, share the video. Click the little bell if you like it, if you like our videos, because um, you know what that does, that alerts you to uh, future videos. We're excited to be on this journey together. Uh, you can also uh, follow us on Instagram at csschooly underscore adventures um, and that's our Instagram page or just go to the search go to Instagram and go to the search up top and just type in CS and it'll bring up our, our logo uh, that's us CS School Adventures um, we've also got a Twitter uh, that's under uh, CS Schooly um, hashtag CS Schooly so please follow us there also if you get a chance and we're just posting pictures and kind of updates every week on what we've been doing and uh, and hopefully maybe by the end of the year uh, well 12 months a running calendar year not <laughs> not the end of this year uh, you know we'll, we'll have this thing built out and, and be able to share some adventures like uh, you know like some of the people that that we watch and um, and learn from so we thank you guys so much for your support and please hit that like and share button.